the keeper. Jews, no. Uh, the brother, let, not, let, no Jews, man. Sorry. You, you pretend they My friend, let him answer. Let, no. let, let him answer from himself. Sorry, let him answer for himself. Okay, I've asked him a question. Yeah. So because I when I speak I'm, to I'm proud of my culture. Excellent. Don't believe in God. Alright, so you're so you're you're a Jewish <laughs> person <laughs> by No no you're you're a Jew by I I, yeah, I, yeah. I I respect everybody's right to believe in whatever fairy tale as long as your fairy tale doesn't tell you to kill me. No problem. Um so okay, I haven't got a problem with that. I, I, now I know where you are in terms of morality. So in terms of objective morality, we can't say that you have a definite set of uh, moral principles that you adhere to or do you uh, western judeo christian values yep okay so you, do you accept for example the old testament as uh, as divinely inspired or I, uh, the, our values as western civilization is founded on the old testament so in one way or another i do but there are parts of it that i find uh, yeah abhorrent. so i'm not sure what your um what your particular stance is what i've seen you i've seen you in conjunction with uh, Tommy Robinson. That's how I got to know who you were. I saw you kind of doing like a rally. I saw you with Tommy as well. I, uh, you bashed the cop or something, yeah? No, I didn't bash the cop. You can go back to the footage. It's on, it's on the public record. But here's what I'll say to you is that, yeah, so I saw you in conjunction with that. And what it seems, I'm not sure. You can obviously correct me if I'm wrong. It seems to me that your position is, um, is it anti-Islam? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can I can I ask you? I'm not sure. And once again, I'm just asking you, right? Two steps this way. Two steps forward. Okay, no problem. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I was going to ask you then. No problem. If your um, if your position is anti-Islam, that's not a problem. I mean, by definition, if you're something other than Muslim, you're going to disagree with parts of Islam. Can I ask you specifically, what do you um, find repugnant about Islam that you feel like you need to act? Let's start with an the, uh, yes, uh, yes. the the, the anti-Semitism. Okay, go ahead. So tell me what you uh, what in particular you think. Are you denying that Islam is anti-Semitic? Well, the thing is, you'd have to uh, look at the prophet. And don't, don't, uh, Can I ask like you a question? Semitic, I don't mean. Name yeah, no, I mean no, no. Jew yeah, Jewish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Moses is a Semite, yes? I know, it's a, uh, Jew hatred, all right? Okay, does the Quran uh, declare hatred for Moses? Your Moses in the Quran is not the same as the Jewish Moses. No so. problem, but he's, he was a Bani Israel, he was a Jew, yeah? What about today's Jews? Today's Jews? Yeah. Not, not no, no, I'm, no, no, hold, hold on. Are you, right, are so you with me? So, so, so is the Quran, because yeah. Moses for us is the most commonly repeated, oft repeated prophet in the whole of the Quran. He's repeated in over 70 passages. And Muhammad also said he was a Jewish prophet. Yes. The, the, and, and, and he, who? who the Jew, and, that Moses was, and, yeah? And, no, no, no. But Muhammad in the beginning was claiming he was a Jewish prophet to try to get the Jews on to convert. But no problem. But, but was he represented? Do you reckon that the depiction of Moses in the Quran is, uh, is an anti Semitic one? That, no. Okay, thank you very much. So then, to answer your question, then, by extension, I'll say if one of the heroes of Islam is a Jew, and not just one, and actually. His version, but your version Avi, of Moses I, I, is not the Islam, Avi, I'm, not the Jewish I'm, version. I'm, I'm with you, but I, yep. I'm, just asking, I'm just answering your question, right? If we're looking at all of the... The Quran also says very lovely things about Jews. Okay. But the law of abrogation tells us that in the beginning, he liked the Jews. Later, when he realized... Who's he? Jew, your prophet. Okay, well, that, uh, tell me where it says that in the beginning he liked the Jews and later he didn't. If you look at the historically, but the fact is... By the way, do you know the law of abrogation? Sorry, sorry yeah. to cut you off. There's a verse, it's in chapter 2, verse 106 of the Quran. It only applies to ahkam, which are rulings. It does not apply to akhbar, which are narratives. So here, what you've talked about abrogation, which is something people who don't know much about Islam, I'm not trying to say it's specifically you, use all the time. The law of abrogation only applies to legal rulings. It cannot apply. It cannot. There cannot be a narrative that um, that legal, abrogates the another legal narrative. Legal rulings are pretty much fundamental to the religion. But you are talking. Based let's on not move. Idea let's, sharia. No problem. Let's can I, can I stop you one second? No, 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 one second. Can, can uh, Christians uh, be anti-Semitic? Listen, uh, a quick I don't think Jews should be allowed to talk. <laughs> no, there's a quick question. You can just ask this. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, think, it's a similar view to Timothy in, uh, in the Bible, which says that women are not allowed to talk in the, in the church. But what I was going to say to you was... Why Christians be anti-Semitic? Because you were saying uh, Muhammad could be anti-Semitic. I didn't say this. No, but I'm asking, can Christians be anti-Semitic? Everyone has the propensity to be no, anti-Semitic. No, 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 no. So do you get what I'm saying? Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah let's, keep this, let's, keep, let's keep this going. What I was going to say, the Quran says something something really interesting about Jewish people, okay? I'll tell you exactly what the Quran says in summary. It's not that interesting. It's, no, no. You're, 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 you're focusing on the boring part, the parts that don't bother That's us. subjective. Well, you've asked me a question which is scriptural in nature, and yep. I'm giving you the answer, yep. right? The Quran it says, Min ahlil kitab, in chapter 3, verse 75, that there are those of the Jews and the Christians that you can trust them. 
And there are those who you can't trust them. In another verse in the same surah, it says, Laysu sawa'a. They're not all the same. That was the one verse before it. So in other words, the, the Quran's attitude towards Jews and Christians seems to be in line with its attitude towards Muslims. Because in the Quran, chapter 35 of the Quran, it says, Minhum dhalimun li nafsihi, wa minhum muqtasid, wa minhum sabiqun bil khayrat. That's, I'll hold on for you, no problem. So d d just, just to keep going, the Quran says that there are some Muslims who are oppressive to themselves and some of them which are on the middle path and those who are who are who are, who are, excel likewise the quran says about the jews and christians they're not all the same there are some good of them and there are some bad of them likewise the quran makes that kind of has that sentiment to all of humankind that humankind you find good people and you find but you find trustworthy and you find untrustworthy so i think if we're talking about the quran what we need to do is we need to look at the text I mean, it's, it's easy to say, well, Muslims believe in this and Muslims. And I would agree with you, Avi, right? If you said to me, look, Muslims are anti Semitic, I would say to you, some of the Muslims are anti Semitic. Now, uh, let's be honest. Yes. The majority. You've been on any Muslim forum online. No, hold on. He might be right. It depends on the location. I'm from Egypt, okay? In Egypt, anti I would say anti Semitism is the default position. Uh, if you're not anti Semitic in Egypt, it's irregular. Whether you're a nationalist or an Islamist. Why Islamic, is that? It's because of, I will tell you, it's, hold on, let me answer your question. I can't wait for you to say yes, the yes. Z word. No, no, it's not Zionism. I'm not saying that. It's because of the wars that ensued. Should have been the Rothschild. 1967, 1973. These wars heightened the anti-Semitism. But then on the flip side, the peace... That's so they, like the Brexit. It's called sore losers. No, 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 no problem. But in the, no problem. I, I I don't disagree with history, right? I, I, history yeah. is a, is, a, is, a, is something which is there. But what I'm saying to you is that on the flip side, you, but you do disagree with history because when it comes to Israel, I've seen let's you. Let's not let's yeah. not let's not uh, uh, but no, but let's you, not convolute you, the discussion. No, no, but you, but you can't. You made a, a pretty uh, Go ahead, Anthony, strong yes. statement that you don't you, you don't disagree with history, but you actually do fundamentally disagree. Okay, with Okay, well that's that's your, maybe all right. All right. Maybe uh, maybe it's because of my compounded ignorance of history. You could you could illuminate and educate and edify no problem but what I'm saying to you is this Avi you have to we have to stick to the topic you yep. start you started off by talking about anti-semitism in this in the scriptures right yep we talked about verses of the Quran which ex explicitly mention good things about Jewish people I'll tell you some that don't because I want to be balanced I don't want to be uh, you know uh, unbalanced it talks about this Jewish scholarly class in chapter 62 of the Quran Himar yahmilu asfara, donkeys that have uh, that have scriptures on their backs what does this mean? The Quran makes a criticism about Jewish scholars that they have a lot of action, they have a lot of knowledge. It says they have a lot of knowledge, but that they don't implement that knowledge. And by the way, it's really interesting about this criticism, Avi, is that it's the same criticism that the Israelis had. When recently I was looking at Haaretz, one of the Israeli newspapers. That's, uh, let's just be fair, guys. Haaretz yes. is not very Israeli. They are. And that's your position yeah. as a right wing, but it's a left wing paper, it's right? A very far left wing paper. Well, no problem, but it is a paper in Israel. Self-hating Jews. No problem. But yeah. they were talking about, they were talking about something interesting. There was, a, there was. To you. Okay, maybe to me. Yes, yeah. subjective. I was let's wrong. Hear it, let's hear it. What I was going to say is that the scholarly class, because the, the, the clerics uh, refer to as the Shahs in Israel, yeah? Yep. A lot of them in parliament, in the Knesset, they refer to as Shahs. But outside, there's a scholarly class of Jewish people. They have been criticized by their own community for, for being exempt from the army. Yep. So, in fact, the Quranic criticism of the, uh, of the scholarly class of Jews is the same as the Israeli one. That you have a lot of knowledge, but you don't have any uh, action. That you're not doing so can what you... you explain to me why that hadith... Let's go back to the beginning. That yes, hadith yes. there doesn't... Which the Sorry. one where it talks about, yes. and, and it's not, because I, I get the argument all the time that it's historic. And no, it's not historic. It's, that it's, one is yes. in the future. Um, uh, yes, absolutely. This, Do we need to get rid of that? No, we don't need to get rid of that, because it, what this hadith is telling us, in explicit terms, is that there will be a war between Muslims and Jews. By the way, to be fair and clear, at that particular time, yes, and this is an apocalyptic hadith, it's talking about in the end of times, it's talking about in the Day of Judgment, that there will be a war between Muslims and Jews, or some Muslims and some Jews, and then the tree will no, turn. No, 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 it doesn't say some. It, well, no. It doesn't say well, some. Well, it, no, I'll tell you what it says in the hadith. It says that there's a tree called Gharqad, yep. which is a tree. It will become animate. It's an inanimate uh, creature, which will become animate. And it will, f it will help and facilitate and guide Muslims to be able to destroy the, uh, the Jewish enemy. That's all it is. At that particular time, in the apocalyptic period, not in uh, this is not a hadith referencing, yes, so, uh, uh, like you said, a past event. I agree. So, what, what, so what do, you, do you think you don't think we should get rid of that hadith that talks about well, um, killing you, Jews? Let like me that. ask you a question, right? Yes, uh, I don't, and I'll be uh, completely honest with you. I don't, I'm a traditionalist, I'm a scripturalist, which, which means uh, fundamentally that I believe in the Quran and then I believe in the authentic Sunnah. <laughs> so, I wouldn't ever, you would never catch me saying that we can get rid of any authentic hadith, just to be completely honest. But then I'll ask you a question, you know, Deuteronomy chapter. 13 verses 6 to 10 it says if you have someone in your home 
that whether Ahwaka, I'm saying it in Arabic, because I, you know, but it says here, let me just tell you, if, if your brother or your, your son or your daughter or your friend or your wife, if they entrust you with something, yes, and they tell you, we will worship other gods, yes, then kill them and stone them in their own homes. Now, this is in the Bible, the old Torah. I condemn it. You can, do you want to get I rid of it? I we should get rid of it. Okay, f fantastic. Now, go. It's I want you to... Perfect. He, he said he... Sorry, sorry, sorry. He said he condemns it. If it's in the Torah... Yes. If it's in the Torah... Yes. Get rid of it. And anybody I'm very that happy. believes it should be... Um, it should Avi, I've, 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 job, job complete. You know why? Because for the first time, I think, in history, in your life, you've condemned a different scripture. I'm very happy that now you've looked no. at... I condemn Nazism. No, 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 no. I'm talking about scriptures. In the same, with the same, look, Avi, listen to me. Avi, Avi, perfect. With the same vigor that you have against talking about the Quran and the Hadith because of its, what you would refer to as violent verses, and we wouldn't disagree, there are violent verses in the Quran. I want you to use that same standard why do you in think, condemning why, the Bible okay. and the Old Testament. No, but the, the difference. Isn't that fair? Isn't that fair? Really? No, it's not fair. He's no, but he's an atheist. I'll tell you why. He, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you why it's not fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah go on. Because you don't see. Jews killing Jews in the name, or Jews killing uh, Muslims in the name of the Torah. You don't see Buddha, it is just Muslims targeting Jews. Anytime there's an Isla a, a jihadi attack around the world, okay, now it's going to be. They tend to Avi, they, Avi, they, they yes, target, and yes. then they get the Jews on the side. Avi, it's uh, like thank a you. Bonus. I see what you're saying. Avi, I appreciate where you're coming from. There's two important problems. One of them is, according to Pew, Muslims account for about 1.8 uh, billion. Uh, people, which means that there are about one quarter going on to, according to them, 2,100, there'll be one third of the world's population will be Muslim. One out of three people in the world will be Muslim, according so to what, what? Okay, let's now, just, no, no, hold just, on. just tell me now. And no, 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 let, let me just, sorry, make the point and then you can, yeah. you can. Now, Jews account for about 30 million people maximum, Less, maybe 20 million. Yep. That, that means to say that there are more people in Cairo. Oh, with the chosen ones. So are, no oh, problem. Yeah, yeah you, now, now you're going to scripture with now the chosen one. No, yeah, no problem. Anyways. <laughs> There are more people in Cairo than there are Jews in the whole world. Yep. So it's a false comparison because if you have more uh, people... What, what, what did you say? There's more, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. There are about 20 million people yep. in Cairo. Yeah. So what I was going to say is that it's a false comparison because when you... If you have... It, no, it's, I'll tell you why it's not a false comparison. Like, like, okay, you, let me just make the point and then you can, you can come back. If you have 2 billion people, you have 2 billion people in the world yep. versus 20 million, yep. you're definitely going to get more violence from the 2 billion, whatever faith they're from. Okay, so let me put this to you. Yes. Let's let's agree on a number, a percentage of the two billion that's jihadi, violent jihadis. What? Give me a number. What, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't give you that. Uh, 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 I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's say let's say one percent. No problem. Point uh, one. Whatever you want. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, one point, point <laughs> one. Yes. Point, my point doesn't change. Well, okay. Let's get actual no. statistics. Let's get. Let's get. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get my statistics. point. Yeah, my yeah, point yeah, here fine. is that. It's not the gross number that counts. Yes. It's the fact that in no other religion, in no other religion do you have even the matching percentage that is killing and targeting others in the name of the religion. Well, what's the there is a fundamental well, so, 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 Avi, what's the source for that? What source do you have? What evidence do you have for this? For what? For the, for Avi, the point you just made. Because I can give you evidence just, to the contrary. Just, just life. No, no. Avi, 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 Avi uh, I'm going to say to you, that's yeah, not an academic way of Avi, making... Um, Avi, uh, I, I don't need you to give me academia. Avi, 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 don't get distracted. Okay, I'm making a very clear case. I'm saying to no, no, you, I've, I've heard, I heard your is, point. There is yeah, no, there is, sure. Uh, let Avi make his point. Go ahead, Avi. There is no other religion. I think the, there well, are so many that. more Muslims yes, than yes. Jews. We get that. No problem. Yes. And obviously there are going to be many more violent ones because of the numbers. But percentage per can, capita. Can, can I come back to you? Per capita. Yes. Because there is no fundamental thing that teaches any other okay. religion to kill. No, no problem. Avi, I'll, I will tell you something, right? If you look at the book of Deuteronomy, uh, book of Numbers, chapter 31, verses 18, and uh, verses 32, it's very clear that there is, a, uh, there is a very clear command to Moses to go into the village and the take... The Canaanites. Yes, to go into the village. If the Canaanites were here today... Yes. Oh, no, no. And if take 32,000 girls who have virgins and take them as slaves, etc. Yeah, it's very Islamic of you. Now, yes. Uh, very uh, Islamic. Uh, they, pre they predated Islam. Yes. So maybe it was, uh, uh, maybe, maybe the, the opposite. Joke, no problem. Now, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying to you. Should we take that out of the Bible as well? If to, uh, no, if it's historically happened, it's but a it's disgrace. A, it's a, it's I condemn it. It's a command. It's a I, command from God, according to the Jews. Now, if there were Canaanites today, yes, yes. or Amalek, you're yeah. talking about the Amalek people. No, yeah? these are not Amalekites. Canaanites. 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 Canaanites but, yeah. if, you're taught, if they existed today and Jews were targeting them, I will be at the front 
condemning him as okay, well. Okay, I like that. Okay. Fine. So let, let, me, it, let me go it, back it, to... It's irrelevant because hey, it doesn't you know, exist. I appreciate and it. And you're fucking tall. It's annoying. Oh, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Avi, I'm coming back to... Go back to the social extrapolation. In terms of in terms of um, raw data, okay? Raw data that we well, have in front of funny. us. The, <laughs> In terms of raw data that Did we you pay for that coffee or was no, that another one of those ones? You uh, Avi, Avi, please, can you can you continue with me, please? Ali, please. In terms of raw data that we have in front of us, according to uh, Dan according to Daniel Pape, who wrote the book Dying to Win, looking at the period of uh, time from 1980 up until yep. I think it was 2000, it was a 30-year period he looked at, yep. and it's probably regarding academics, it's probably the most accurate uh, survey of suicide bombers in in the in the, in the modern period. And he said that in terms of ratio, the number one group of people that did suicide bombing was the Tamil Tigers. That's that's his finding, right? Yep. What years was this? Pardon? What, what years? What, what? He looked from 1980 until another yep. period, 2005, I think. Yep. 1980 to 2005, which is about 25 years. Yep. So he looked at that period of time, which is uh, pre, uh, obviously, 9-11 and post. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. So here we're looking at a very... So here, the point is this, is that... When we look at the academic data, yeah, it doesn't substantiate your claim. It does because the, the Tamil Tigers, uh, and I condemn any, any. See now, Avi, do you know what I've done with you today, no, no, Avi? No, hold on. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Sorry. Yes. But the Tamil yes. Tigers yes. is in a specific war zone. Islam. So suicide bombing. Islam looks Innocence. at the war. No, I'm condemning it. No problem. But what I'm saying is the reason why you don't see me out there. It's taking up the cause of the Tamil because the fact is know, they are no threat to us here in the West. Okay, so your focus is that which is a threat because in... your religion calls no, 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 uh, for the, Abby. The, the fundamental basis of it yes. is an Islamic caliphate worldwide. Okay, no, all of that, you that, believe that's, that one that's, day that's your interpretation of that. No, what are you I, denying that? Yeah, I'm denying that. I don't think the fundamental of I, I, I know, no, I'm, I'm, I know the Quran. Hold on, hold on, guys. Sorry, do you yeah, not believe? Okay, fine, not fundamental. Do you believe? No, no, I, I believe that the fundamental message of Islam... No, no, for, forget the word fundamental right, because I like it. I can see what you're yes, doing. Yes, yes. I will tell you clearly, right? I will tell you clearly I mean, that... I'm getting into it. It is in the middle. I will tell you clearly I'm that... I will tell you clearly there is no... Uh, there is no specific instruction in the Quran, and I dare anyone to define me, there is no specific instruction in the Quran telling ordinary Muslim laymen to establish a caliphate, and you can, you can give me the opposite. So, uh, so what I'm asking you is... Uh, no, no, I've, you've made a claim. I, no, I'm asking so you what I'm asking you... Fine, so you're, you're denying, yes, I'm denying the idea I'm denying that in Islam yes, I'm denying you need a worldwide caliphate. No, I'm not denying that you... No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, let me be clear. I'm not denying the existence of a caliphate historically no, 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 or the need no, no. for it. Or the need for it, the, the, or, 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 denying, or the advantage of it. No, I, didn't, hold on. I didn't ever say that right. in the Quran it says you have to. You, no, you I, said I'm it was a message. Yes. As yes. One of the, I'm not going to use the word fundamental. Oh, so what do you want to say? What, one, what, what's the message you're trying to one communicate? One of the objectives, one of the things within Islam yeah. is to create. Everybody's Who? got to have an active role. Every Who Muslim. Says, oh, you sound like Hasbut Tahrir. I mean, here the thing Every is. Every Muslim has to have. The, the, okay. Whether okay. it's. Through violent jihad, no, no. Or whether now, it's now you've gone to ISIS. Jihad. <laughs> no, From Hazrat Tahrir to ISIS. No, Look, it's not ISIS. Here's the point. Here's Do the point you I'm believe making. that the world needs to become a worldwide caliphate one no, day? No, absolutely not. I don't think yeah. that Sharia law should be imposed on every uh, every person, especially non-Muslims. And the it evidence be fair. and the evidence yeah. of that is in the Quran. Do you know that? The Quran says La ikraha fi din qad tabayna al min al-ghay that there's no compulsion in religion. And when it talks about imposing the jizya on the well, individual, yeah. hold on, let me. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there before you get there, my friend. I love jizya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, Abby, uh, let's keep this yalla, mature. Yalla, yalla. Yalla, Habib. What I was going to say to you is that when it talks about imposing the jizya on uh, Jewish people and Christian people in chapter 9, verse 29, if you look at the tafsir or the exegesis of one person called uh, Al Qurtubi, he says about this that when you impose a uh, jizya is just a tax. No, it isn't. Okay, tell me the opposite. The, the tax is a part of it. But okay. it's second class citizen on every level. Okay, hold on. I'll come so, to it. I'll come like to it. My, my, my family on every lived level. under. Well, you know. Yes, yes. You're not allowed to. Sorry, go ahead. You're not allowed to build churches, synagogues. No, no, that's no, no. no hold on, hold on, please, please. He's he's right to an extent. You're talking about the Arabian Peninsula, okay? No, yes. no I'm talking about the idea of being a dimmy. Gives, no, no, no. That's that not. That, that's yeah. well, there's no evidence for that. I'm telling you. In in the um, Arabian in the Arabian Peninsula, there was specific command that yeah, you can't build a church in that area because, look, people say you're not even allowed to go into Mecca as a non-Muslim. 
Did you know this? I uh -huh, I know that. Let me tell you why, okay? Do you know that in Mecca now, and when we go there now, yeah? I've been there, you know, I've got a video online if you want to see me going to Mecca, you know, interesting. No, uh, can I come with you to Mecca? Uh, no, you, unless you, yes, you can actually, on one condition. I've got to pay this. Yeah, now, nah, while I'll do the shahada. No, no, let me tell you something, right? It's a city which is quite small. There's about three million people that go there every year, yeah? Now, people die uh, being trampled over and things like yep. that. And the reason why they die is because of overpopulation, overcrowding, right? Yep. Now, imagine if we made this a tourist resort for, for Christians and Jews. You know Jews. what I love most about you now, besides your height, I've found something else, is Good. that you find a way to justify every barbaric thing uh, no, with, like, no, no, like yeah, some yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. sensible... Uh, barbaric. Oh, some sort of sensible explanation. No, you know why you can't build synagogues? No, no, because no problem. people might get yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, what you. bullshit is that? Okay, no problem. Uh, let's, let's not go with that. Hey, no, let's, not, let's not go with that. Rubbish. No, 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 that's not, if there's, I don't have a cameraman, the Quran says, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do your job for you, a wandering guys, guys, sorry, let me, let Thanks me, for me, let me make your life easier, I'll give you a verse in the Quran that gives you a reason, yes, yep. it says, إنما إنما المشركين نجس فلا يقرب المسجد الحرام بعد عامهم هذا it says that the, certainly the polytheists are impure, so they should not be allowed in the sanctuary after this year. What does it mean to be impure as a, as a policy? 